Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 3 to the power x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 2 thirds. And we're going to be solving for x values. I mean, what else could we solve for, right? Anyways, I'll be presenting two methods. And we've done a similar problem before, do you remember? We're going to use same ideas. All right, so first method. We're going to go ahead and log both sides to bring the power down. You can use any base you want for the log. Um, ba using base 3 would probably make sense. Or you can use something like natural log or base 10. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use base 10. Okay? Or, yeah, base 10. Let's do it. Uh, I think last time I used ln. This time let's use log. So log is base 10 so it's not written we're gonna log both sides on the left we can go ahead and bring this to the front it's the properties of logarithms hopefully you know them x squared minus 4x plus 3 multiply by log 3 equals log 2 thirds and there's another property of logarithms which is called the quotient property and it just tells you that whenever you have the log of a quotient, you can write it as a difference. Great. Let's go ahead and distribute. Uh, notice that this turned into a quadratic equation. And we can kind of write it as x squared log 3 minus 4x log 3 plus 3 log 3 equals log 2 minus log 3. Now, uh, we're going to put everything together. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this log 3, add it to 3 log 3, and then m subtract this. And I kind of arrange these terms so you can write it as a full quadratic. The full quadratic, what do I mean by that, is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And as you know, the quadratic formula tells us that, hey, you can solve it with this formula. Okay, so that's the quadratic formula in a nutshell. And now we're going to use it, but let's go ahead and make this a nice um, quadratic first. So I'm going to write the log 3 and then minus the uh, 4 log 3. I'll probably just uh, move this a little bit like this. Okay, probably want to do that. And then I want to go ahead and bring my constants together. That's going to be 4 log 3. I know this is not complete, so don't complain. And minus log 2 equals 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the x's. Uh, notice that this will be the coefficient of x squared, and this will be the coefficient of x. And now hopefully you can see, uh, and hopefully this looks more like a quadratic now, okay? You can definitely see the coefficient of x squared and coefficient of x, and the constant term. So, in other words, this is going to be our constant term, c. This is the coefficient of x squared, which is a, and... This is RB. Make sense? Let's use the quadratic formula, but you know what? It's better if we use uh, what's under the radical first, because we're going to have to write this many times. Let's just get rid of that, which is delta or the discriminant. By the way, that's a Greek letter D. Uh, some people write this as uppercase D, same idea. Doesn't matter. Uh, B squared minus 4AC. Let's go ahead and find out what it is. Uh, it's going to be this number squared. By the way, the minus sign will disappear when you square it minus 4 a c c is 4 log 3 minus log 2 okay cool now let's go ahead and simplify this we're going to go ahead and make write it as simple as possible and now delta is going to equal uh, 16 times log 3 squared and if you distribute that you're going to get minus 16 times log 3 squared which interestingly cancels out, plus 4 log 3 times log 2. When these two terms cancel out, we end up with a simpler, simpler discriminant, which is this one, and that's what we're going to write under the radical, okay? So let's get back to this and use the quadratic formula on this equation. x equals negative b, which is going to be 4 log 3, plus minus the square root of delta, which is 4 log 3 times log 2, and all of that is divided by 2 times a, which is 2 log 3. Obviously, this can be simplified a little bit, or you can just leave it like that. That's perfectly fine. One thing that I can do is take out the 4. That'll be a 2, and I can divide everything by 2. That'll give me 2 log 3 plus minus the square root of log 3 times log 2. 
and or under the radical and that's divided by log 3 and obviously from here you're gonna get a 2 plus minus something like you can if you want you can separate it into two pieces and I think this will be helpful in the long run especially when we do our second method uh, you should be able to compare these two results okay and if you also use Wolfram Alpha for this type of problem I don't know if I included the results probably I forgot uh, you'll also see something similar okay so far so good and obviously radical log 3 can also be simplified because we have a log 3 at the bottom but that's not necessary I think this is good as is all right so far so good and these are the answers so let's go ahead and talk about the second method the second method is very different it just uses algebraic manipulations it also uses logs but at the end okay so first step we're going to cross multiply why because these are both powers of 3 when we multiply them together the exponents are added and this is 3 to the first power it's just going to add 1 and we'll have the 2 on the right hand side and now we have a really nice expression can you guess what it is pause yes it is a perfect square if you said that you got it the exponent is x minus 2 quantity squared is that helpful absolutely we're about to solve for x so how would you solve for x there's a couple different ways to go about it one method is probably logging both sides and in this case again you can use base 10 or ln or you can use base 3 doesn't matter no big deal okay because you can always convert them to each other let's just use log to be consistent and now we're going to get something like this and now this should be able to move to the front and now we're going to get x minus 2 squared equals um, log 3 times that equals log 2. And then finally, I can divide both sides by log 3. And that should almost give me the answer. But of course, I need to square root both sides and the plus, put the plus minus signs. Remember, when you do the radicals or x squared equals something, you should always consider two solutions. And then finally, add 2 to both sides and you should get the solutions as before but are these identical they look tiny bit different because of the radical but uh, you can definitely go ahead and set them uh, equal to the same thing right let me go ahead and show you a graph and notice that we have two solutions we solved the quadratic and then we you know just went with that so there should be two solutions and the reason behind that is ex actually explained in this graph there are two intersection points and this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye